with the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. $20 million. The talent is great, so is the sense of responsibility for the team. It's all on my shoulders, the young superstar thinks, so I'll have to do it all myself. In the postseason, Kobe and Shaq learned the hard way that no player ever goes farther than the 11 other men wearing the same jersey. And the Utah Jazz going to the Western Conference Finals. Before you succeed, you must learn how to fail. And I just hope that I don't have to you know, fail too many more times. Total domination by the experienced Utah Jazz against the youthful, talented Los Angeles Lakers. Everybody was down. Everybody was upset. But I can honestly say we weren't close to being a championship caliber team. I'm not going to say that the Spurs have better individual talent than the Lakers. But I am going to say they have a better team. It's bad enough to get beat, but lose four straight games for the second consecutive year. That's, uh, that's not acceptable. You know, we look at each other on the bus, on the plane, and each year we've fallen short of, and have sat in those lockers and, and cried our eyes out as grown men because of the failures we've had. The answer was as much a part of Laker history as championship basketball itself. For the new millennium, the Lakers moved to a new home. But it was a new coach that heralded a bigger change and a future more in tune with the traditions of the Lakers' past. Without further ado, uh, the new coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson had won six NBA championships as coach of the Chicago Bulls. But his impressive resume came with doubts that his unorthodox style would mesh with the Lakers' youthful stars. Man, you got to see so much stuff. <laughs> just pivot work. Like, we're not even having a basketball. They just, you know, run, you know, set a pick, then spin, pivot, go, then stop, change the direction. Like, we, without a basketball. Like, practice layups without a basketball. It's sweet. Jackson's first challenge was to get his new players to understand him. Then he still had to get them to unite behind him. Well, there was kind of a Colby faction on one side and a, a Shaquille faction on the other, and, and we had to bring these guys together. And there were some personal goals that were standing in front of the group goals, and that all had to be kind of figured out. There was a situation in which you know, I was asking them to kind of fit into roles and demanded the team to play more unselfish basketball. The first time in my career, a coach came in and said, look, this is what you're going to do, this is what you're going to master. If you're not going to do that, then you're not going to be here. During the preseason, any early optimism appeared hopelessly misplaced. Back to Ori. Ori down the middle shows to the wrong team. I've never seen a quarter much worse than this by a Laker group. To make matters worse, Kobe Bryant broke his hand and would miss eight weeks. The season would begin with little reason for hope and even less reason to believe. Guys have to rid themselves of old habits. You gotta trust the staff, your teammates, and yourself that you can grow. And a lot of people don't wanna trust, you know, they wanna hold on. And you gotta kinda throw yourself into the abyss and kiss the dice and let them roll. When the regular season started, the Lakers took a leap of faith together and immediately began to fly. Bryant gets it back, comes in deep, bounce under the shack, beautiful play! What you have seen here tonight is a different looking Lakers team and you see the impact of Phil Jackson. That's the attitude. You have to share the ball. And in sharing the ball, we get layups, we get easy shots. Veteran players with championship level experience were added to help carry the message from the coaches to the court. When Kobe returned from injury, the Lakers 21 year old star also seemed more mature, instantly adapting to the new team first approach. One of the first things Phil said was, it's not how hard you play, because you can play with all the heart you want, but it's how smart you play. 
It was vintage Laker basketball, as Kobe and Shaq came together like magic. Shaq dubbed them the combo. Some combo, huh? for the NBA championship has begun. Game seven, the Western Conference championship on the line. The series is tied at three games apiece. The Lakers had the home court on their side, but it was the Blazers who were in total command. By early in the fourth quarter, Portland led by 15, and L.A. was reeling. The Trailblazers have blown it open. The Staples Center is sitting in stunned silence. They didn't need a miracle just one perfect quarter of Laker basketball. Or he dances off to the right, shoots the three, good! The Lakers looking for more! Why did they bother selling seats? Nobody is sitting down! Ponzi against Fox, left baseline, drives to the hoop, bump, shot blocked by Bryant, and Kobe controls in the corner. All of a sudden, the Blazers can't buy a hoop. Whole season on the line. You have to take good shots from now on. There's a big trip for the Lakers. Ori comes left to Fox. The left corner three by Shaw. Good! Brian Shaw right down the well. Great rally by the Lakers. And you can see the confidence, the confidence just rise with the Lakers. Into O'Neal, low left. He's doubled up. Shaw shooting the three. Good! Well at all. He is really favoring that foot. 
when you have a leg injury, the first thing that goes through balance, now watch this, as he stumbles, he just can't get his feet underneath himself. O'Neal gets it deep, and they can't stop him. Kobe with a great feed to O'Neal. They're trying to come off the screen, they find Perkins for three, and he covers the game. Sean Trigger in, they look for Shaq, he makes the catch, he throws up the hook, and we are going to overtime. arrived at training camp as a changed team. The roster had a new look. Horace Grant supplanted Laker veteran A.C. Green at power forward. And in a move considered risky for team chemistry, the erratic Isaiah Ryder was signed to replace Glenn Rice, the team's third leading scorer during 2000. I know the breakdown. Everything is gonna shake now someday. I know the breakdown. Tell me again that my awake now, baby. The Lakers soared upwards in the standings, storming past Sacramento to win the Pacific Division title. They won their last eight regular season games in a row. And their championship luster was back. When we started to win those games late in the season, we could just feel the momentum building. And the Lakers cannot play better than this. They cannot. We could feel our own team dynamic, and, and as Phil Jackson refers to it as the community of, of the team, we could feel it just growing tighter and tighter. Against the Spurs, the Kings, and the Blazers. 
Up off the rim. Oh, man, what a dunk by O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq moves baseline, shoots, scored, and he is fouled as O'Neal makes a power move. Back-to-back -back titles for the Los Angeles Lakers. With a blend of talent, will, and chemistry, the Los Angeles Lakers had won two straight NBA titles. And with their championship formula intact, they set out together in their pursuit of history. Let's go for that three The Lakers would use the trust they had built in each other to see them through on the journey to a three-peat. Heading into the Western Conference Finals, the Lakers had lost just twice in their last 25 playoff games, and many had to wonder when they would even be tested. The challenge would come from the Sacramento Kings, who had spent years building a team to contend with the Lakers. The Kings had earned the league's best record and home court advantage throughout the playoffs, and were ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the champions. There's not a lot of love lost between these two clubs. Last night about 2.30 in the morning, somebody called me and said, Big fella, let's make history. And I was like, who is this? He was like, it's me, Kobe. So I told Kobe, let's come out, let's do it. I promise Kobe I'll be ready. I promise everybody I'll be ready. And we ain't going to uh, go away that easy. All come down to this, the seventh and final game of this Western Conference final series. Oh, oh, oh. And as this final round approached, it was clear that there was plenty of fight left in the Kings. Still, the Lakers would not easily surrender what was theirs, taking a slim lead in the fourth quarter. But the Kings would battle back, carried once again by their young point guard, Mike Bibby, who was showing that he too had the heart of a champion. Right corner, Bibby, he fires. Oh! And it seemed only fitting that Game 7 would once again come down to one final possession. Six seconds. Now O'Neal right of the lane against Weber. O'Neal's turnaround jumper. Rimming, no. Tip won't go. Tip to get, no. Overtime at Arco Arena. Back to Weber. Now to Bibby left corner. He fires good. Mike Bibby sticks another one. Sacramento by two. In the closing moments, with the score tied, the Lakers were facing the greatest test of their three-year run. And down the stretch of overtime, they would refuse to relinquish their hard-earned crown. Into O'Neal, low left. Shaq with five to shoot. O'Neal against Weber, three to shoot. Turn around jumper, good O'Neal. Lakers are up on the bench. They can all smell it now. Christie inbounds to Weber underneath. Tipped away by the Lakers. Fisher has it. And here's Fisher in the front court. Gives to Devin George. The game is over. And the series goes to the world champion Los Angeles Lakers. Three peak, baby! It's no surprise to see the Lakers here. They've been the NBA's dominant team in recent seasons, and they're already being mentioned among the great teams of all time. But the Eastern Conference representative is really a surprise. What it comes down to is stopping one man, the most physically dominant center, maybe the most physically dominant player ever to play in this game. He is Wilt Chamberlain reincarnated. Wilt Chamberlain, easy. That's my alter ego. Right now, I'm just playing on Shaq. And once the ball comes on. Free throws, fadeaways, bring me up, look a little bit, blah, 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 get me up, blah, blah, Shaq wants it low on Matella, he wants to go, here he is, oh, yeah. and showing why he's playing in the middle. A facial served up by Shaquille O'Neal. Throw it down, big man, throw it down. Fisher penetrates, keeps on coming down the lane. Give it over now to Shaq, in the paint, jump shot, one-handed slam. 
Yeah, take that. And I said, guys, too much for Kill O'Neal. You know, he's a, he's a monster. That's all I can say about it. Dribble behind the back, feed the Shaq, fumbles and picks it up. Oh, that was a great play by Kobe. He fooled Shaq. To get whatever we want. It cannot stop. 34. And look, days, Fred. O'Neal with a strong move on McCullough. A three-peat and a sweep for the world champion Los Angeles Lakers. Shaquille O'Neal, no question, the most valuable player of the series, becoming the third player to win the NBA Finals MVP award three times, only the second player to win it three consecutive times, the other Michael Jordan. Laker bucket to end the three championship run as Shaq and Kobe can only look on. Well, they could be getting ready for the big barbecue down in Texas if Dallas can uh, get by Sacramento tonight. Boy, no kidding. Texas was a tough place for everybody to go as Steve Smith knocks down a three. And Eric Fisher and the rest of the Lakers knows that it's over. They're not very used to losing. It's going to be tough for them to swallow. But as Jack Nicholson said, the better team wins seven game series. And San Antonio swept the Lakers during the regular season. They were up 2 0. The Lakers battled back to 2 2. But then it was San Antonio on Tuesday and tonight. On the 16th of July, 2003, the Lakers acquired two of the greatest players the game has ever seen. The addition of Gary Payton and Carl Malone to a team just one year removed from its third NBA title in as many years gave L.A. what many in the media called the greatest team ever And a Patterson keeps his feet. certainly a disappointing day in a lot of ways in Los Angeles. I mean, to say anything else, you know, would not be telling the truth. Shaq's future is certain. A big shift in the balance of power in the NBA as the league's most dominant player is headed back east, the newest member of the Miami Heat. Remember this, I'm going to bring a championship to Miami, I promise. Little elbow, but never looked at him, looked right over the top of Kobe's head. Before the tip, you didn't even look at your former teammate, Kobe Bryant. Why not? 
shook everybody else's hand. Merry Christmas, everybody out there. All right, thanks a lot, Shaquille. Back to you. Kobe Bryant, 28 for 46 from the field. This would be 18 for 20 from the line and an 81 point game, 55 in the second half. History tonight at Staples Center. MVP. Promised a championship when he came to Miami, and he has delivered. Jack and Kobe actually acknowledged each other on several occasions prior to the open tip. They're going out of their way to show the world that they're getting along now, Mark. It's simply the biggest NBA in-season trade so far this year, as the Lakers acquired talented big man Pau Gasol. Right Reunite the two of you back together again on Valentine's Day. Yeah, what's up, young boy? What's up, man? What's up? Hey, you, you believe him when he says it was all a media ploy by him to grab attention and take pressure off of you? Big chief marketer? Yeah, you should say that all the time. <laughs> you should say that all the time. Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, co-MVPs of All-Star 2009. I know you're not exactly the sentimental type, but when you guys are having the interaction on the court, feel like old times a little bit. Does it make you a little bit at all wistful for being able to play with Shaq, having those those moments? No. <laughs> Sha Shaq? No. <laughs> Couldn't have been scripted any better. Uh, maybe my last one, if it is, it'll be a hell of a DVD. All-Star game is over. Now it's time to get back down to business. See if we can't get that championship. Looks inside, finds Gasol, Gasol.
This is it. This one for all the one. We can do it. Mother. At home, like your Celtics. That's all y'all guys wanted to see. It's what we live for. We dreamed about. We love. Let's go make it happen. Have some fun. Game seven. What you think it is? You can either let somebody write your story or you write your own story. I ain't letting nobody write my story.
after the steal of a Ray uh -oh. Allen pass. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. 20 second time old Celtics. Shaquille O'Neal hobbles towards the locker room. Doc McKee and Eddie Lassert in hot pursuit. Uh, never thought this day would come, and uh, Father Time has finally caught up with Shaquille O'Neal. So at this time, I'd like to introduce the newest Los Angeles Laker, Dwight Howard. Happy to see him wearing purple and gold, Steve Nash. They have a chance to prove they're the best team ever. You know, you can get into it, but it's just happening too often. And it's always over the ball instead of And now a message from Kobe Bryant. Well, it's amazing how time flies. Um, just got to say congratulations to you. Um, the most gifted physical specimen I've ever seen play this game, size and agility, and uh, just natural talent. So I just have to say congratulations. And um, you know what you've done to this city, what you've meant to this city, um, has been absolutely historical you know the run that we've had together and uh, i know you've played for other organizations but you know, you'll always truly be remembered by playing for one and that's here with the la lakers man congratulations your number has officially been immortalized and uh you deserve it man enjoy it
Los Angeles. It felt good to compete. You know, get out there and move around. And, you know, play with my guys, play against my guys. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, it feels good just to get out there and move. I just went out there and just, just played. What's up? I need 50 that night. Can you do it? <laughs> the last, last home game at the Staples. Can you give us 50? More than two. Uh, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. All right, bro. Absolutely not, man. But I, I'm looking forward to seeing you, man. Yes. And, uh, Likewise. Enjoy that, that game one more time, man. For the final time, number 24 on the floor. And that's where he's missed. Trevor Booker. And desperate to get to the basket and score. And he does. Every night he gets in the strong hole. Kobe to the basket. Oh, baby. And one. Feeling it. Firing. Oh, got him all. He gave a foul before he came out. Here he is for three. Where's this is seeking Kobe for three. Yes. Brazil was right. That would surprise a lot of people.
congratulations, and uh, much love to you, my brother. This type of duo, I don't think you'll ever see again. Never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> nah, we made it. Yes, sir. No clue. <laughs> None you. of that. None of that. Hold on, we gotta take a picture. <laughs> give him five and give me four. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get them all in the picture? Yeah. <laughs> Love you too, my man. <laughs>